Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. I am finally getting this lazy boy outside today. It is such a beautiful day and we've been so lazy inside, just relaxing and hanging out and just kind of doing what we want to do. So right now we are going to pitch our swing up and do some outside activities. Kiddo, can you say hi? So me and Kiddo are both supporting our Autism Vlog Squad t-shirts. For those of you who don't know, I'm sure that most of y'all have came over from my friends' channels that are on the Autism Vlog Squad. But just a quick reminder that we are a group of families, autism families, and we all vlog and have channels. So if you have not checked them out, please go check out my friends' page. I will link all of their channels in the description. Fathering Autism, Lauren Brazy, The Wee Family, and last and best, Rebraining Autism. Go check out my friend Jen, she is amazing. Hey cute boy, you, you need to eat your apples. Eat your apples, babe. <laughs> so at Kato's request, we are going to the park. He wants to go a little bit further out of the apartment, which is great. I am all for getting out and about. Yeah, let's put her swing up, buddy. See, this is our PE activity of today's homeschooling. We are enjoying some swinging and building our core strength. <laughs> that is so fun, buddy. You're going so high. Here, sit down, let's do some chalk. We'll do some sidewalk chalk. All right, look, mommy is going to draw something. Oh, you already broke the first one. I'm gonna see if we can do some sidewalk chalk without him wanting to eat it, because that's typically what he does. All right, look, ready? Look out. Potato. I drew the letter A. Can you trace it? Here. I'll give you a new one. Mm -hmm. Can you trace the letter A? Oh, oh that's a pretty purple line. Here. But gotta help. Okay, but first, will you trace the letter A? Here, look. A. Line. Line. Good job. But gotta help. Okay, let's do, let's do a heart because you love hearts. I know you do. Hold on, quit breaking them. You're breaking them. What is that? You know, what is this? What is this? Kiddo, what is this? What shape is this? Heart? Okay, look. Can you take this and can you trace it? Look, put it in this hand because you're right handed. Okay. okay, now trace it. Trace it, finish. Look, finish, starting right here. Come here. Look, it's 
starting right here. Can you trace it? Starting right here and going around. Do you need help? <gasps> Good job! High five! All right, that was great. We got help. Okay. All right. That was really good, Kaydell. All right, come here. You ready? Stand right here. Right here. No, you're fine. Come here. Come here. Stand ah. right. Look, come here. You take the ball. Okay. I'm going to hold this up. Now throw it to me. Ready? Oh, good job. You did it. You want to try it again? All right. One more time. Ready? Throw it to me. Ah! Oh, we missed that time. That's okay. You're not into it. But you did good. Look, we got it. Good job. We got help. All right, let's go. Wait for me, baby. Well, that um, was a short, sweet little recess gym class. <laughs> Kato was not really feeling it. It's a little hot outside and the pools are closed because of quarantine. So, I don't know. He just wasn't that into it. But also, those are new skills. I mean, he works on tracing in ABA, but he does it at a table, you know, in a more routine, scheduled environment. So, I thought it'd be fun to try tracing with some sidewalk chalk just for something different to do. He's actually really good at it when he sits at the table and does it but he just wanted to break all the chalk. And then, you know, the whole throwing thing and catching, I thought the, um, the Vel Velcro catching mitt would be good for him, but he just wasn't into it. He's kind of fixated on Big Guy's house right now, which is fine. It's a beautiful day and we might just go over to Big Guy's house and hang out. You're cute. You want to go to Big Guy's house or Moose's house? Big Guy's house. Where? Kiddo. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, babe? Big Guy's house or Moose's house? Big Guy's house. Okay. Okay. Here, let's try it. Ready? Hold it up. Okay, ready? Hold it up. Hold it up. Okay, down. Hold it up. Ready? Hold it up like so I can throw it. Hold it up. Ready? Yay! Yeah, you you did help. it! <laughs> okay. hanging out at grandma's house and Kadell is just getting some good sensory input and swinging which seems to be his favorite thing to do these days but we're gonna try to do some more outside activities over here and see if I can show you guys he did something really cool at the park today but I did not catch it on camera so I'm gonna try to see if he can do it again for you guys so Kadell knows his name he knows if you ask him what's your name, he'll say Kadale. He also knows how to spell his name interestingly. He loves letters and numbers. And we've been working on him writing his name and tracing the letters. Um, it's really impressive, you know, what he actually knows that we don't realize that he knows. And sometimes, you know, things like ABA and his behavioral... Um, distractions come in the way of us focusing on his education which is what it is I mean those things need attention and those things are life-altering so those things usually take precedence but anyways it's just interesting to know or to realize what he actually knows and what he's able to do that you just don't even know Okay, so I drew out his name with some sidewalk chalk, which he loves chalk. 
and then I'm gonna see if he'll trace it for me. He did earlier, and we also worked on, you know, pointing to the letters and him spelling his name. So I'm gonna see if he'll do it again for me. Come here, babe. Come here, come have a seat. Look. <clears throat> All right, Kato. Let's go over this. What is this? What's your name? What's your name? Kdale. K. Look. Can you point with me? K. A. A. I. I. D. D. A. L. E. Good job. Here. A bit, a bit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Here, sit down. Now I want you to trace it. You might need to scoot back a little bit. What? Uh, what? Been out of school too long. Look, can you, I'll open it if you'll trace it. Here. Good job. Me and Kiddo have been so incredibly fortunate throughout his life to have some really, really amazing therapists. This particular skill of learning to trace and write his name was actually taught to him before he was even talking and it was taught to him by his occupational therapist who always believed in him. She always had so much confidence in him. She knew that he was destined for great things and she really emphasized education and wanting to teach him to spell and write. And Miss Lisa, if you're listening, shout out, we love you so much and we miss you. And you guys just don't settle because Yay! there are amazing, amazing therapists out there that can help you so much with your kids. So keep looking till you get the right fits because you can find it. There's amazing people in the world to help our kids. Let's, let's go over it one more time. Ready? Let's go over it one more time. Hey. I. I. D. D. Look. D. A. L. E. Good job. High five. You're so smart. You want a color? Oh, you broke it. That's okay. That's your name, Kido. Hey. So, I'm so proud of you. What's your name? K Dale, that's right. <laughs> High five. All right. Ready? Yay! Good job. <laughs> okay. Now look. Now throw it to me. Just no. Throw it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> try it again. Here, try it again. Ready? Yay! You did it.